Christmas is a very special time, obviously, and uh, a special time in my house. I have three daughters and a wife, and, uh, you know, Christmas presents are always a difficult thing. One of my daughters has a, a birthday near Christmas, and she turned 16 this year, and we decided to get her a car. Now, <laughs> oh, and I went. But we bought her a used vehicle. Anybody that buys a 16-year-old kid a new car, I think you're pretty much a moron, okay? <laughs> Because you're not buying them a car, you're buying them a bumper car. That's what you're buying. <laughs> you ever sat in the front seat teaching a 15, 16 year old kid to drive a car? Here's the parent in the passenger seat. <laughs> and I'm still in the driveway. Okay. <laughs> so we bought her this vehicle. You know, as a parent, there's things that you know you're supposed to teach your children and other things that nobody bothers telling you that you need to tell them what to do or how to do or whatever. One of those things is, how to put gasoline in a car. <laughs> now, I didn't have any sisters, but I know that boys by the age of three just innately not have put frickin' gas in a car. <laughs> Girls, apparently, not so much. Now, I will admit my wife is smarter than me, especially when it comes to raising kids, and she knows things about girls, obviously. And one evening, after my daughter had had her car for about a week, my wife came to me and she said very seriously, she said, okay, her car is almost on empty. I'm going to take her and she's going to put gasoline in her car for the first time. <laughs> and I, not wanting to look like an idiot, pretended I knew what she was talking about. <laughs> and so I went, okay. A little while later, they came back from putting gas in the car. My wife walks in the front door, hands me a video camera, and says, you can't see this. <laughs> and I'm like, what? She goes, no, trust me. You're going to have new material for your show. <laughs> so I rewound it, hit play. And sure enough, there's my daughter standing next to her car. She has a door open on the gas tank, and she's standing there doing this. it won't open. <laughs> now, the first indication that my wife can be a very cruel woman when she wants to be <laughs> is what she did to help the child. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> she just stood there videotaping. <laughs> Then you hear my wife say, honey, remember, righty tidy, lefty loosey. <laughs> and the 16 year old girl goes, whatever. <laughs> Camera starts shaking. <laughs> then you hear my wife say, honey, turn it counterclockwise. <laughs> my daughter looked at her watch. And I'm the father standing there watching the tape going, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> because I realized she was looking at her watch two or three seconds too long before she realized she was gazing at a digital watch. 